Man, don't you wish recording high quality audio wasn't such a pain? Well, now it isn't with the new Apogee Clip Mic Digital 2. Whoa! Thanks, disembodied voice. Hey now, there's no reason to insult my lack of corporeal form. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello, filmmakers, Ash here, and welcome to Film It Yourself. Recently, Apache reached out to me and asked me to make a promo video for their new ClipMic Digital 2. And after using it, I was actually pretty impressed with just how easy it was to use this little guy. So I figured why not do a product review for you guys and go over the pros and cons of using the Apache ClipMic Digital 2. First up, let's go over the features. It's a plug and play mic, so you can just use an app on your phone and plug it right in. This means you can turn your phone into an actual lav recording pack, which is pretty cool because almost everyone has a phone. It also comes with two windscreens, a metal one and a foam one. One is for indoors and one is for outdoors, but if you have really extremely windy weather, you can put the foam one on top of the metal one for extra wind protection. It comes with a clip that has full 360 rotation, which let me tell you, a lot of lav mics do not, and it drives me absolutely crazy. What I love about this is that you can put it on either side, you can twist it upside down, any way you need it, it'll work for you. It also comes with lightning, USB, and USB-C cables, so you have plenty of options for plugging it in. And one of my favorite features is that it comes with this nifty case so that you can protect your mic because nothing's worse than getting a good mic and damaging it when you throw it into a bag. So now let's talk about the pros. One of the biggest pros is that you can turn your phone or your talent's phone into a lav pack by using the Apache Meta Recorder app. It's a free app that you can download in the app store. And in the app, you can set levels, place markers, and even name your clips. You can make scenes to help keep your audio files organized. And in here, you can custom your scene name and name it whatever you want. You can also customize the file format so that the filing name format is whatever you want. You can choose between a sample rate of 96 kilohertz all the way down to 22 kilohertz. You also can choose your bit depths. You have 24 or 16 and you can choose to record in a broadcast wave or a CAF, which is pretty cool. One huge pro about this mic is that it's the only lab that gives you the ability to connect digitally at 96 kilohertz, which is a much higher resolution than a standard recording sample rate. This is really good if you're recording VO stuff, but just note that it will make your file double in size because of all the extra data and bits. Another cool feature of the app is that it also has some cool settings you can use to improve your audio recording. By going into the settings and clicking on your mic, it lets you reduce rumble and hiss in your audio, as well as prevents it from peaking with the overload eliminator setting. However, if these settings aren't needed, Apogee recommends turning them off, but do some tests and see what works best for you in your recording situation. And finally, it also has some Surrey shortcuts so that you can record and stop recording completely hands-free, which is pretty cool. But you're probably saying, okay, Ash, but how do you monitor your audio? Well, that's the other cool feature of the Meta Recorder app. You can actually monitor your recording from another device, like an iPad or another phone. To do this, you'll need to download the app on your other device. Then, while in the app, tap on link and set your monitoring device as the master device. Next, on your phone, go to link and set it as the satellite device. Pro tip, it does this feature via Bluetooth and or a Wi-Fi network. So both devices must be in the same location and on the same network. Now that your monitoring device is set up, you can adjust levels and monitor wirelessly, but all recordings are still stored locally on the satellite phone. So make sure you have plenty of storage space before recording. And another cool feature is that it will actually tell you how much recording time you have left based on your phone's space and battery life. 
Now where this gets really cool is you can do this for up to four labs that will all record in sync when you hit the record button. How cool is that? However, note that to use this feature to record audio for longer than 60 seconds, you'll need to purchase the multi-device upgrade for $9.99. And finally, when you're done recording, you can grab your audio files via AirDrop or even sync them to a cloud service like Dropbox. Now, as far as cons for this guy, I actually don't have a lot. Normally, my biggest con with a plug and play app is that you can't monitor your audio, but you can see Apache has solved that. One con I will say though, is that I did come across a bug while using the app when trying to go back and rename takes after recording. Because it will automatically keep naming your takes in numerical order, I think it got a little weird and one of my takes didn't show up in the app. However, when I synced that scene to my Dropbox, I was able to see the take there. So maybe don't rename your takes in the app, or if you do and something goes missing, just try syncing it to Dropbox before you completely freak out like I did. Another con I'd say is having to make sure you have plenty of room on your phone, though audio files aren't that big. So if you're recording in 48 kilohertz, you'll probably be just fine. And my final con is that on the iPhone, you can't record in the Meta Recorder app while also using the camera app to record video. However, the video app will use the Apache mic if it's plugged in. You just won't be able to set the hiss, rumble, or overload eliminator setting, but Apache told me a workaround for this. They recommended first opening the Meta Recorder app and setting these settings, and then opening the camera app. This should work, but I haven't tested it yet, so let me know if you've had any experiences in doing this and if it's worked for you. So yeah, not a lot of cons. And if you're still on the fence about this mic, let me tell you that I actually recorded all of the audio for this video with the Apache Clip Mic Digital 2. It's what you're hearing right now. And I used it for that intro gag as well. So if you like this audio, definitely check out the link for the mic in the description below. Overall, I think this is a great mic for vloggers, but also filmmakers who want high quality audio at a decent price, but also with a lot of flexibility. Pretty much everyone has a phone, so being able to utilize that is a huge plus. I'm actually not sure, it might be iPhone only, but disclaimer here, it definitely works with iPhones and what, like 50% of the people have an iPhone, right? So let me know if you think you'd use this mic in the description below and if there's another lav mic you prefer. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Plus, check out some of my other filmmaking gear product reviews here. All right, I've got to go. Spence has an important interview and needs the mic.